seatbelts off and everything and he clappers me at like 50 so the accents that we had around here I mean just races over to come back to pit road if you want to come and talk about it, like a man go do that but you try to wreck somebody in the racetrack and then come down pit road with other cars and people standing around with my seatbelts off and uh, driving aside of me is just not excusable it's just there's no excuse for that he's a he's a champion he's supposed to know better than that it's just uh Matt, you were involved with the 63 to go restart. What was going on there? Um, on the restart, I just rolled outside of him in the dog leg, and he knew I was there and just ran me out of room, ran me and walked in while I get past, which I shouldn't have went there, but there's a lot of guys you can race like that. And they know you're there, and they'll give you the room, and, and he's just a one of them. He just, uh, he didn't have purpose, just ran me in the walk because uh, he didn't want to get past. Thanks, Matt. Full of emotions down here, maybe. Those are the unhappy emotions. Meanwhile, Kevin Harvick blew the right rear fender off his car, doing a victory burnout because he was so happy. And Kevin has driven into victory lane. And our victory lane interview is presented by Five Hour Energy. 